idiot Republicans are saying Genocide Joe has abandoned Israel. Dopey Republican pundits and politicians have been claiming that Joe Biden has abandoned Israel and has fallen under the control of Hamas, because this is a presidential election year and everything needs to be ten times dumber than usual. Donald Trump said on the campaign trail on Wednesday that any Jewish person that votes for a Democrat or votes for Biden should have their head examined, saying of Biden, he totally abandoned Israel. Trump's comments were made in response to Biden saying that Israel should declare a ceasefire of six to eight weeks, seemingly suggesting that Israel should do so without conditioning the ceasefire on the release of Israeli hostages. This hopeful statement was swiftly dispelled by Biden himself, however, with the president reiterating the same keep-killing-children-until-Hamas-gives-us-everything-we-want position that this administration has stood by for six months. Apparently Biden's dementia-addled brain is just struggling to keep its story straight. Meanwhile, Daily Wire founder Ben Shapiro has been pushing the narrative that Biden has saved Hamas by capitulating to demands from the left on Gaza, going so far as to declare that Hamas is now in control of the Biden administration. To be clear, this is all foam-brained nonsense. Biden has spent six months pouring weapons of mass murder into Israel without any conditions whatsoever, and his administration has been justifying and spinning and making excuses for all of Israel's heinous actions in Gaza this entire time. No U.S. president in history has done more to directly serve the murderousness of the Israeli war machine than Joe Biden. Right to this very day, the president is declaring ironclad support for Israel, as fears mount that Iran may retaliate for the Israeli strike on its consulate building in Syria, which killed multiple Iranian military officers. Despite the fact that Iran has made it clear to the White House that if the U.S. comes to Israel's defense, it will make the U.S. a target as well. Biden is so fanatically pro-Israel that we could be near the precipice of the worst-case nightmare scenario of all possible Middle Eastern conflicts because of his unwavering support for the genocidal apartheid state. In reality, the only reason Republicans have begun trying to frame Biden as anti-Israel is because only through fiction and fantasy can America's two mainstream parties pretend there are any significant differences between them. They are both insanely supportive of Israel and its crimes. They both support war, militarism, imperialism, capitalism, and oligarchy. The only areas in which there is any meaningful disagreement between them are the issues that don't inconvenience the powerful in any way, like whether or not you are allowed to have an abortion, or whether it's good or bad to be mean to trans people. And even those issues are only used to keep everyone's interest and attention locked into mainstream politics and diverted from revolutionary sentiment. So they make up these moronic, fictional battlegrounds to fight on, because that's the only way they can actually have anything to fight about. Joe Biden is a Hamas agent. Donald Trump is a Kremlin agent. Joe Biden is controlled by the CCP. Donald Trump is going to be another Hitler instead of another shitty Republican. The Democrats want to steal your guns and make your son wear a dress. The Republicans want to dismantle NATO and let Vladimir Putin take over the world. Absolutely none of this is real, but if Republicans and Democrats were forced to campaign against each other solely on issues in which they truly disagreed, they'd have very little to talk about, and it would give the whole two-party scam away. Before you know it, you'd have them arguing about things like whether it would be best to ramp up nuclear aggressions with China first, or prioritize taking out Russia, and people would start to notice that neither of these parties have the interests of normal human beings at heart. So they keep up their kayfabe combat shtick and sell it as hard as they can to make sure as many Americans as possible are clapping along to the pretend drama of the two-handed puppet show. Can't wait till this election is over and done with so we can go back to the normal levels of stupid.